There's really very little controversy that this industry has been growing very rapidly over the last couple of decades. If you take the year 2010 by itself, um, there were about 17 gigawatt of new power installed in that particular year. And what's remarkable about that number is that it really represents the cumulative total of all installations uh, ever since the inception of that industry in the 1970s. Uh, over the last two years, 2011 and 12, we've also maintained pretty impressive growth rates of about 20% annually. Now, what should also be kept in mind when we think about the solar photovoltaic industry at this point is that it enjoys considerable public subsidies, uh, in particular through the tax code and the so-called federal investment tax credit. And the other thing that has been happening is that panel prices, solar panel prices have come down very rapidly. So in 2011 alone, what we saw was that prices came down by about 40%. Uh, most observers attribute this in large part to massive entry uh, from new manufacturers into the industry, primarily from China at this point. If you look at commercial scale installations, and by that we're referring to businesses that are installing solar, solar panels on their rooftops and warehouses, we find that at least in select locations with high retail prices, solar PV has already achieved cost competitiveness. Uh, so that applies primarily uh, to regions like Southern California or uh, the Southwestern United States. Um, two important qualifiers on this, location is like in real estate, location is everything. Uh, so if you move this to other parts of the country, the equation changes quickly. And the second thing that I mentioned before, um, federal subsidies play an important role in that calculation. If you took those away at the moment, um, the cost of solar PV would probably rise by more than 50%. Okay. Um, for another segment of this market is uh, utility scale installations. And there we find that basically they are not yet competitive with fossil fuels, uh, at least at this point. Uh, in fact, there remains about a 30% gap. The reason that it is harder uh, to achieve cost competitiveness here is that prices have to be compared to wholesale electricity prices rather than retail electricity prices. Over the past 30 years, uh, the solar PV industry has really shown a remarkable confirmation of the so-called 80% learning curve. And we have seen this learning curve in other industries uh, like semiconductors and aircraft manufacturing. And roughly what this means is that every time you double the total cumulative amount of uh, solar panels produced, costs drop by another 20%. So if this pattern were to hold up in the future, and the world continues to install solar PV at the same rate over the next couple of years, we think, and you will forgive the pun, the future of solar looks pretty bright. Uh, so in particular, we think that utility scale installations are on track to become competitive by the end of this de decade. And at the same time, uh, for commercial scale installations, which as I mentioned before, are already cost competitive in the current environment, they could even achieve the next level of grid parity, which would mean that they would become cost competitive even without the current subsidies. So bottom line on this is, uh, contrary to what some people have argued, solar PV probably does not need a major technological breakthrough. If we just stay on the current path, um, the chances are very good that within 10 years, uh, grid parity is achievable. But this will require that for the time being, public subsidies remain in place for sustained uh, volume and sustained cost reductions. Mm -hmm.